Hey guys, I am LB, and today, we are going to play Four-Sided Fantasy. I have heard that this is a short game, but it is a puzzle game, and as you know, I do like my puzzle games. The reviews are somewhat mixed, I've seen some negative reviews about how it's a good concept, but it could do with some more work on it, and I've seen many positive reviews as well, so I guess we'll judge it for ourselves. Now, hopefully, I can record this properly, because... I had to change my recording settings to be able to record this game. This game does not have good graphics options. The, all the options here are play game, level select, credits, and quit. And there is not a way to change graphics except for in the launcher, and I have it set to fastest, and even setting it to fastest is just a little too much for my system. So if you notice that the video quality is different than usual, that's why. So let's see. It's interesting that there's level quit. Also, the, the, the quit animation. If you play this game, the quit animation is pretty cool. I might show that at the end of an episode or at the end of the series. But yeah, for now, let's just play the game and hopefully you can hear my voice over the game's lovely soundtrack. Let me turn it down just a little bit. There. Let's play the game. This is a blind playthrough. Alright, WASD. And spacebar. W and spacebar do the same thing, looks like. S doesn't seem to do anything. The camera's panning way to the right. Okay, I'm assuming I can make this jump, right? Oh, wrap around. <laughs> That's cool. Why does it say recording in the top left? Now, I'm not very good at platformers, but I do like puzzle games, so do be aware... ...if there is a difficult, uh, puzzle mechanic, I might have trouble with it. Hey, there we go. That was kind of a strange introductory area, but, yeah. Control. Oh. That doesn't seem to be... Okay, I might be able to bind that to something else after this episode. Because I do not like hitting the control key. Ah! This reminds me of the witness. Hey! Look at that! We switch who we are when we do that. That is so reminiscent of The Witness, where you, you know, you can just do this anywhere and, and do stuff. Already I'm liking this game. What's over here? I'm assuming that's gonna be some updraft. Apparently not enough to lift me upward. And I'm guessing that this static that probably looks really weird on YouTube is not gonna... I mean, it's probably gonna kill me, right? Let's find out. That is an interesting effect. That reminds me a lot of 140. If you haven't played 140, go check it out. I think I have some videos on my channel. We're getting in-game credits, that's pretty neat. Oh, right, duh. I'm an idiot. There we go. That's how you do it. Good tutorialization. Hmm, what do we do here, though? Oh, there we go. I just had to do it the right way. Alright, so far so good. Why, hello there, good sir. How are you today? There's a security camera there. That's... strange. Where does it reset me if I fall here, by the way? Alright, on this side. Alright. Alright, uh, <laughs> This is probably much easier, isn't it? Look at that, don't even have to fall. And I think that's exactly what it's tutorializing right now. 
really requires a different way of thinking when- with- with screen wrap. I haven't played very many games with screen wrap. I know a lot of old games used to have screen wrap all the time. Very interesting use of that mechanic. I just wanted to see if I could do it during this little seemingly cinematic thing. The art style is pretty minimal. It's okay, I like it. What's this about? Just, I guess, showing us that these things exist? Alright, fair enough. Oh, oh! How... how is... Hey, that is really cool! It's like, it's like, two-dimensional portal, but, you know, not like, gateways. If you haven't seen gate- oh, that's- okay. Messed up there, but yeah. If you haven't seen gateways, that's a pretty cool game, it's basically 2D portals done right. But this is also, a similar idea. This is really cool, I like this. A little bit of a visual glitch there as it changed the character, but still really well done. Really, really cool looking. I like this. Ooh, some dense trees here. I like what this is building up to. The fact that other objects than ourselves can go across the- the rift is really interesting. Huh, what happens if we do this? We can't go there. Can we jump high enough? I don't think so. Huh. Can't double jump, to my knowledge. I don't know what to do there. Oh, duh. <laughs> wow, I need to think with screen wrap, guys. There we go. That was a good test of my cognitive abilities. Ooh, we got little bounce pads, it seems. Interesting. Alright then, I think I see what I have to do. Yep. Cool stuff. Anything interesting up here? Just some clouds, I guess? Alright. <laughs> we can stand on the screen wrap border. Alright, so we wanna launch ourselves, yeah, like that. There we go. This is really cool so far, I like this. Even, uh, even if this was all the game was, this would be really cool. Well, it might not be worth the money if this was all the game was, but... So far, I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, so what we want to do here... is... What do we want to do here? I think we want to do this. Yeah, there we go! Just gotta figure out where to position the screen at. Oh, this is... That was an interesting transition! Cool! Alright. What have we got going on up there? Something? I wanna go up there. If I can. Oh, well. <laughs> not- not really much point in that, I guess. Oh, I solved the puzzle. That's exactly what I was supposed to do. Alright. Whoa! Now that is really cool. Nice zoomed out view. Might- might be lagging a little bit. If so, I can't really do anything about that. I've already done all I can to make this as smooth as possible. Wait, what happens if we go to the left? Oh! Oh, that was just... okay. That was just a little... cool thing that happened. 
Oh, so we can't- we can't do that... in here. What about this? Why are they different colors, though? Oh, is it a lock and key mechanism, or...? Understand fully? Maybe it is a lock and key mechanism and I just need both? Okay, it is a lock and key mechanism. Interesting. Also, did explore all the way over here at all? Oops, that was... completely botched that... screen wrap. What's over here? Oh, nothing, alright. Fair enough. Now we can go this way, because the barrier is gone. Oh, well, that- that works, too. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that, but yeah, that works, too. This is- this is basically like, a first- like, if you were to play Portal for the first time, I imagine this is what it might feel like. Do we just have to coast over it? Nope. Oh, we can just- do that, yeah. That works. Since we can walk on the, the bottom of the screen wrap when there's solid on the other side. That was cool. So I guess now we want to go up, right? Yep, we're slowly making our way up. This is actually really cool, I like this. I've said that many times, but... yeah. That's interesting. Why is there static there? Why is there static there? I think I know what to do here. Hey! It works! That is cool. That reminds me of the Swapper. If you remember in the Swapper, you could do stuff like that. that that's cool. Huh. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I didn't- did not even see that there. So, when there's only one t barrier color, you only need that color, you don't need both. Got it. Oh, what happened? Okay. Man, that sound effect and visual effect reminds me of The Witness. But I won't say why. Ah, oh, I messed that up already. <laughs> it falls through the screen as well. That's cool. So far, no storyline as far as I can tell. Just a really cool concept. So I guess we want to go to the... Over here? Yeah. Real quick though, I do want to know what's... what's... is there anything of interest? Oh! It's these little... these guys. Strange. So now... 
Oh, I didn't move all the way to the right enough. There we go. That's how I'm supposed to do it. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I freaked out, I thought I messed up there, and then I went back to the top. Why, hello there. How I... how might one acquire you? Oh, the angle of its light comes from the moon. You see that, right? The moon? That's not just me, the moon is casting that light behind it. Okay, so we'll just- we just have to know that that's there, I suppose, and then we'll get to it later. Alright, there's not much in here... for us. Oh! <laughs> that's- that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted to do. There we go. Fixed it! So how do we ascend? That is a good question. I guess maybe over here is some way to ascend? No. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, maybe. Uh... There we go, that's what I wanted. Hmm. Well, no, because now I can't jump high enough. I need to find... the right way to do this. like that. Or not. Apparently not. That is not the correct way. That just made the screen lower. I need the screen to be higher. Well, I can get back in here, at least. Oh... Oh, we just... <laughs> we just did that a minute ago, and I forgot! Tutorialization. And a nice little exit path for us. What's over here? Nothing much. I'm guessing the left is death, that we'll want to avoid. Yep, that was death. Another security camera. That's really cool. That reminds me of the, the games that I'm planning to make. Actually, well, I mean, there's security cameras in Portal as well, but yeah, whatever. Never mind. <laughs> Static above. Because of that. Yeah. Hm. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Once again, another thing that reminds me of 140. Really cool. They're really testing all the mechanics here. Huh. I need a... There we go. Oh, well, kinda. I need to get the angle just... I mean, the position just right there. I think that's good. Yeah, that way we hit our head on the, the brick. Instead of the static. Awesome. Nothing up there. Let's continue. Pretty simple art assets, but that's understandable. I'm, I'm okay with minimalism. Hey, look, we're in the background now. Well, all right then. Hmm. I do believe we will have to solve this one in the next episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.